Whispers. Turtle nesting season is underway and many female sea turtles are swimming near the shoreline. It's not uncommon for them to have encounters with people. As News 13's Chloe Sparks tells us that's what happened to a large sea turtle this weekend. They don't call her Big Mama for nothing. It took six strong Gulf World Marine Institute officials to release this 175 pound loggerhead sea turtle back into her natural habitat Wednesday morning. Thankfully, most of our turtles aren't that big. They don't always come in as adults, um, but because it is nesting season, the adults are near the shore this time of year, so it's not uncommon to see them. A fisherman accidentally hooked Big Mama Sunday off the MB Miller County Pier. Pier officials notified Gulf World, which rescued the turtle, then ran some tests. And that's what we want people to do. We want them to let pier management know if they accidentally hook a turtle, because even if it looks like it's an easy hook, we want to make sure there's nothing else going on. And thankfully with this turtle, it was just the one easy hook. Fortunately, the turtle was fine and able to be released after just one full day of recovery. And in the blink of an eye, Big Mama was gone with the waves. Some of her audience almost left with her. Actually, as I was videoing the turtle going into the water, I uh, wasn't watching what I was doing and went in the water with the turtle. Risley says she didn't expect to get wet this morning, but she got the video. It's great. I've already looked at it and it's it's fabulous. So I'm going to be sure to share it with everybody. Risley says this experience was something she'll never forget. She recommends everyone to go watch a sea turtle release. In Inlet Beach, Chloe Sparks, News 13, Panhandle Strong. If you hook a sea turtle in Florida, Gulf World recommends you call Star FWC or Pound FWC to reach the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission.